As foundation face educators, we find it difficult for young learners to behave for a long time. Between each lesson, we should do some rhymes, some songs, we dance, we stand up, we stretch our hands, etc. And then we send them outside to have water, to have bathroom pass, all that, so that they can, when you, you call them again to be in class, they will pay attention, they will be fresh. I train them all the routines that we are going to do. And then I separate them. Maybe group one, we are going to sweep on every Mondays. We train so that we can see whether they follow the routine until they put it in their minds. Even the taking of the exercise book, the taking of the rollers, keeping the teacher's table, Everything, I usually train them. Every year, when the year starts, we train them. Because there are new learners. I must select the monitors. I must train them before. In many ways, designing and implementing routines is more important than classroom rules. If you put time and effort into designing routines and then training the learners to follow them, your class will be well managed. Carefully consider the following. Design routines that make sense for you. Train learners to implement routines. These can include entering the classroom, moving around the classroom, going to the bathroom, handing out books, handing out stationery, and tidying and packing up at the end of the day. Watch as teachers Trifina Ngomane and Dr. Sugazi from Sitanani Primary School demonstrate some effective routines with their learners. Chair monitors, come forward and take a check for us. Book monitors and pencil monitors, go and get the pencil. Think about the instructions that you need to give learners to transition from one activity to another. Train learners to follow these instructions effectively. Design attention getters to settle learners and get their attention. Train learners to respond to the attention getters. Try to make attention getters simple and fun. Most importantly, be well prepared for all lessons. The best way to keep learners engaged and well behaved is to be organized and prepared. Here are a few examples of effective attention getters. Bread and cheese. We love All right. Yo yo class. All right, guys, I just want to show you something on the board. Okay, thank you, thank you. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Okay, class. Pray threes if you hear me clap once, clap twice, clap three times. Let's fold our arms. Well done, grade threes. All right, grade threes, if you can hear me, do this.
5 4 3 2 1 0 Okay, let's go to the second question. How many learners think that Zandile felt ashamed? Snenjabulo? Three learners think Zandile felt ashamed. Okay, let's continue. How many learners think that Zandile felt guilty? Puti? 